features like world clock, alarm, stopwatch and timer. You can also enable night mode from settings which displays the time continuously consuming very less power. And if you want the analog clock you can do that as well from the settings menu. So a very must have application for any android user running android 4.2.2 and above. The next one is MX video player. One of the best video player for android with a lot of cool features. Lots of android device comes with a default media player but when streaming large HD videos it kind of lags. But this video player plays the video with ease no matter the file size and the video length. First it supports a lot of video formats as well as subtitle formats like .smi, .srt etc. You get this app for different hardware like ARM7, 6 etc. So here's the advantage is even the low end device can play full HD video smoothly with this video player. Once you launch this player all your folders having videos on your device are shown. While playing any video, you can lock the screen that disables interactions with your device. Swipe left or right to seek. Slide up or down on the left hand side to adjust brightness. Slide up or down on the right hand side to adjust volume. You also can pinch to zoom. So this is again a very cool feature in my opinion. You can go on to settings to customize your video player. Like you can do the settings for your player, subtitle, hardware acceleration and many more controls. Next one is Big Oven. You love cooking? Install this app and take all your favorite recipes with you wherever you go. You can also sign up for this app to add your own recipes, search the dish you like and view all the ingredients that are required for it. See the steps for preparing the dish, add your own private notes to the recipe and give a review or share it. A great app if you love cooking and want to try new recipes. Next one is Sketchbook. The name of the app itself is self-explanatory. You can sketch or draw anything you like. You have this blank page with one button at the bottom of the screen with all the controls. So the UI here is very neat because you get a full screen to work. You can control almost everything from this single button. Tap onto it and you can access all the options for brush size, brush tips, color selection, font, eraser, etc. So let me just show you a sample. You can select the brush and once done you can adjust the thickness from here by sliding up or down or side by side. Here you have undo and redo and on top you have this mirror effect. Let me just show it to you. You have this color selection option and from this overlay icon you can adjust the transparency level of your sketch. You also can add layers like in the photoshop to enhance editing or a much precise sketch plus you can import pictures from your gallery. So with all the options you get you can give a much more perfection to your sketches or ideas that you draw. So if you are into sketching this is one of the best app for you. The next one is assistant. This is a Siri like application for your voice commands with a beautiful UI and with an avatar that interacts with you. This app works really good and can perform almost everything that you say like setting reminders, performing calculations, asking for weather, launching apps etc. Take a look. Launch calculator. I'm opening calculator for you now. What's the weather today? This is the weather forecast for today in Lilithburg. It will be clear 40 to 66 degrees. You also have options to type your commands and interact with this app just for fun. And from settings you can do additional setup for this app. Like you can enable shake to launch assistant, read your SMS, change the voice or accent and from customization you can select the avatar and choose different language. The next one is Duolingo. With this app you can learn various languages for free. First you can choose the language you want to learn and once done 
you have various levels of training. First you have basics, let's try it. Here it says select the boy and you have 4 options. Choose the one you feel is correct and then hit check. And now you can learn the word for that image. Similarly, as the level increases, it gets complex, but you can learn words and then sentences. The next one is Toucher Pro. With this app, you get a floating icon on your screen that is customizable. You can theme it and stuff. I will come to the customization in a bit. So this app helps you to multitask. Once you launch it, on the first panel you have this date, day, time, battery percentage and notifications for your calls and SMS. You can clear your memory from here, choose themes, soft keys for your home, menu and back. And at the bottom you have other tabs like favorites. Here you can add all your favorite applications or apps that you use the most to quickly launch those applications. Next tab is for toggles. And the last one is for the weather. You also can customize these tabs from the settings menu. I'll come back to it in a moment. So let's get into customization. That is theming. You can download a lot of themes from the Play Store. So let's go ahead and try a few of them. And guys, with different themes, you have different UI to access this Toucher Pro. You can change the floating icon as well and do other customizations from the settings, like point settings for size. So point here means the floating icon on your screen. You have tab settings for colors, panel animation, scroll effect, panel size and many more. Next one is True Backup. This is a backup application to backup and restore all the data on your device. This app is not that complex, very simple and uh, this is for normal backing up your data and uh, normal restoring, not the whole system. So this app does not require root access. Very simple to use, so here you have the backup options. Once you tap it, you can select the backup media. Whether you want to do a backup of your data on your Dropbox, SD card or your Google Drive. So here you can choose your backup location. You can change the location if you want to. So let it be the default location and hit done. So let's go on to backup. And here you can backup your contacts, SMS, applications. So the APKs will only be backed up. You, don't, you will not have your data backed up with this application. Photos, music and videos. So you can just check contacts or anything you like and hit backup now. So backup started. So once the backup is complete, you can find the backup file on your SD card on the true backup folder. Now you can copy this folder and uh, save it onto your computer so that you can copy this backed up file back to your phone and restore it using this application. And restoring with this application is also very simple. Just download this app from the Play Store and hit restore. And then uh, you can select contacts because I have backed up the contacts and hit restore now and it will automatically scan the file from your SD card and back it up for you. Next one is Themer. This is a kind of launcher and to some extent let's say easiest way to theme your Android. Not only icons and transitions but the whole UI. As you can see right now I'm on this Mac Apple theme with this Apple status bar at the top and dock at the bottom. Everything is working totally fine and perfectly smooth. And the cool thing here is you get a lot of free themes to download. From app drawer, tap onto this themer icon and from here you can browse themes. Every now and then this app gets updated with new awesome themes. Download and apply the one you like and make your android look and feel completely different from others. You can also do additional customization from settings. Here you have themer that is you can do the settings for your launcher. Almost all the settings are the same that you have with other launchers. You also have gestures for performing certain actions. Let me just quickly show it to you. From advanced, you can customize your desktop, folder, dock, etc. So easiest way to theme your Android with a lot of cool functions. The next one here is app lock. This app is what it sounds like. You can lock your apps with the help of a passcode or a pin. As soon as you launch the app, you need to create a pin. Then again, you have this security question in case if you forget your pin. This app lock is different from other app lock 
since you can create profiles and you can schedule the app logs in a daily or weekly basis. In each profile, you can choose different apps that you want to log. So you have this profile system so that you can uh, switch between profiles when you are at work or at home. For example, in profile 1, here we have all the apps. You can select the app that you want to lock or unlock. Let's lock the Play Store. And now if I launch it, it's locked. Similarly, if I have multiple profiles, say for example, in profile 1, I have my Play Store locked. And in profile 2, it's unlocked. Right now, I'm on profile 2. I can access the Play Store. And now enabling the profile 1, my Play Store is locked. So here we have a very advanced app locking application. Next one is the 500 Fire Papers. This is a wallpaper application. With this app, you don't have to take the trouble of searching and downloading wallpapers to personalize your phone. This app automatically changes your wallpapers once you are connected to the internet. You can also change the update interval for the wallpaper. As you can see, I have set it to 5 minutes. So every 5 minutes, the wallpaper will be changed. So a very cool app if you like changing wallpapers on your device. The next one is the Android Cop News. The Android Cop is another best app for tech news and videos but unlike other apps, it will bring you directly to the news. You can also watch videos directly in the app without having to open any external website. The user interface is simple, attractive and is only focused on the latest Android news. The news are displayed on a tile interface with the headline. You can tap onto it to read the full article. You have the slider menu to choose categories like news, videos, unread articles and so on. All the news from top sources and tech videos from top channels are in this app. So a great app for those who are interested in tech news or say most importantly Android. The last one for this episode is the CPUG. This is a system diagnostic and performance metric app. You can see all the details about your CPU and other hardware like sensors and battery. Right now, I'm on the Nexus 5, so you can see it says the Snapdragon 800 processor. We have all the details related to it. It also shows the number of cores and the load on them. GPU infos, system info, battery status, sensors, and its status. This app is very handy to figure out what's wrong with your device, whether it's battery or sensors or anything else. So guys, thanks a lot for watching. These were some of the best Android apps I have compiled from 2013. I will be coming up with another episode with some new applications and very useful applications. Stay tuned. Till then you guys have a great day. Bye bye now.